What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, February 3rd. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. That's where you get updates to my sim results, and that's where I want your questions. Find the thread for this video and hit me up. What do you like? What do you dislike? What do you want to know about today's slate? That's where you can find me. Finally, BetMGM is the sponsor of this show. If you want to get one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum and up to $1,000 in first bet insurance, all you got to do is sign up using the link in the description. Now, we round out the bottom of my top 10 with Rudy Gobert, Alec Burks, Gary Trent, DeJounte Murray, and Josh Richardson on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It is time to find out. First up at number five, I'm looking at Drew Eubanks. He's center eligible, 3,800, projected for 25, goals 27, optimal lineup 16% of the time. Eubanks looking like he's going to be the starting center for the Blazers today with no use of Nurkic. In his starts this season, he's averaged 28 minutes, so I gave him 28 minutes. He's a 0.9 fantasy point per minute guy here. 13% usage, almost nine points, eight boards, two assists, and a little over two stocks. It's a nice matchup against Washington. They run enough bigs out there that I think it's totally reasonable to see him get full 28-minute run. It's a four-point line as well, so it should be competitive. This is just a situation where you're getting a backup stepping into a starter role, but he's still priced like the backup. No reason that you shouldn't want to get to Drew Eubanks today, so long as he is starting. In at number four, I've got Jalen McDaniel, small forward, power forward eligible, projected for 28. He's 4,700. The goal is only 31. He's in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. My assumption for today is that Gordon Hayward is not playing on a back-to-back, -back, which means we see McDaniels go from like 26 expected minutes up towards like 32. And at that point, we're creating some value. 0.85 fantasy points per minute, 16% usage, 13 points, seven boards, two assists, two stocks, pace up spot, great matchup against the Pistons. Nothing to avoid there. Assuming Hayward is out and you're getting these extra minutes from McDaniels, he's sort of just a no-brainer value option. At number three, I'm going to Sacramento for Harrison Barnes. Small forward, power forward eligible, 5,300, projected for 31. The goal is 34. He's in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. Barnes is just playing massive minutes right now for the Kings, 36 in this one. And there's no De'Aaron Fox, so maybe a couple extra shots to go around. 19% usage for Barnes. It's like a 0.88 fantasy point per minute guy. And a massive pace up spot against the Pacers, who aren't that good defensively. Great matchup for Barnes today. 19 real points, six boards, two assists, and a stock for Barnes. Again, if he's playing 36 minutes a night, 5,300, missing your point guard, just more to go around, gotta like Barnes. The barnacle of the bay. Next up at number two, we're going to the Kings once again for Davion Mitchell, point guard, shooting guard eligible, flat 3K, projected for 21, goals 23, optimal lineup 18% of the time. As I mentioned, De'Aaron Fox is out, which means I assume Davion Mitchell starts. I gave him 28 minutes, could play upwards of 32 if you need it. 0.75 fantasy points per minute, 16% usage. Not the best stat line in the world. 10 points, three and a half assists, two and a half boards and a stock, but it's a great matchup against Indiana. It should be competitive. And my assumption is he starts. He's got point guard, shooting guard eligibility as well. This is just simple, easy value. Just like Drew Eubanks, but even easier to get to. Get yourself some Davion Mitchell. But there's also more value out there. Before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Hit me up with whatever questions you want, guys. I'm, I'm there all the time. Whatever you want to know about today's slate, I am your man. And then go sign up at BetMGM. If, you're, if you have that ability, if you're in a legal betting state and you've not signed up there yet, you'll get a free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum and up to $1,000 on your first bet in, in insurance, so long as you click the link in the description of this video. Number one contender for today, Malachi Branham. Point guard shooting guard eligible, 3,600. Projected for 25 and a half. The goal is 26. He's in the optimal lineup 19% of the time. I gave him 33 minutes here. I think he's going to be the starting point guard for the Spurs. They're going to be without Trey Jones, without Jeremy Sohan, just walking wounded here. 0.78 fantasy points per minute for Branham. 19% usage, 14 points, three and a half boards, three assists, and a stop. It's not a great spot against Philly. They're massive underdogs even at home, but Spurs are short on dudes and they're short on ball handling for sure. Uh, 
like Josh Richardson could lose his minutes today. He's still in at number six. I'd be surprised if Branham loses those minutes. So that's why I think the safety of his minutes are where I want to be. Malachi Branham is my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, February 3rd. FanDuel version is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Have a good weekend. I will talk to you guys again Sunday morning for another edition of The Contenders.